Good morning, guys. I'm in the Starbucks drive-thru right now, just kind of waiting, waiting to get my cafe. Today is the day before school. We have, um, it's Labor Day weekend, so we have a long weekend. Uh, so it's Monday, technically, and I'm going in to prep all of the activities for this upcoming week. I'm gonna do some classroom um, curriculum organization and printing, so not gonna be super exciting, but I thought I would just bring you guys along and kind of show you what I'm gonna do the first day of school, maybe this first week, actually. And then um, I have a free resource I'll link down below um, all about procedures, um, like what to go over this first week. So that's really important. I always have a checklist of things that I want to go over and then I made it editable so that you can edit it for yourself. So. All right, I'm going to grab my coffee and then head to school. Starbucks, what can I get for you? Hi, can I have um? ooh, you have all the fall stuff out? Ooh, okay, I'm going to try a grande pumpkin spice latte this morning. A granny pumpkin spice latte with red cream? Yes, please. Thank you. so quiet in here right now and it smells so good it's like a brand new fresh classroom so I'm excited I'm getting excited for the school year not because it's so quiet in here but just because it feels fresh and new and I'm ready I'm ready let's let's start this year off okay so the first thing I'm gonna do this morning is actually make a to-do list because there's things that I have to do today for this upcoming week and then there are some things like curriculum organization, curriculum prep that um, I don't have to have done by tomorrow, but it's something that I need to start on today and kind of get an idea of where I'm at with everything. So, ooh, you guys, this is my favorite teacher bag, <laughs> by the way. I did a video on this, like a review. It's my fave. I can fit my humongo laptop in here. It's huge. And everything else. I've had everything. Okay, so I'm gonna um, just sit on my computer for a little bit and um, make my to-do list. I kind of have one going already. Like I know that I need to print rosters, my schedule, my classroom schedule, that kind of thing. You guys, this is the first time that I've had a desk in my classroom. Like ever. I mean, I guess I had a, technically I had a desk last year, but I, this chair's kind of squeaky. Um, I never sat at it ever because it was all the way in the back of the classroom and I didn't even have a chair to sit at. So, okay. I also just want to know, Starbucks has released like all of their pumpkin spice goodness. And so I got my first pumpkin spice latte today. It's delicious. And I think that fall... I mean, I feel like September is a perfect month to release fall stuff. So the fact that there's pumpkins and Halloween stuff out already, I'm okay with that. It's when you walk into Hobby Lobby in September and you see Christmas stuff that I'm just, I'm not quite ready for that. All right. So on the to-do list today, I need to print my rosters, print my schedule, print activities for this first week and kind of plan my first day tomorrow. Um, print procedure, my procedures for the first day and week. I'm going to link that freebie down below for you. And then um, I also need to kind of sort and organize the supplies that the students brought in for open house and then organize curriculum. So that's, that's on my to-do list for today. Oh, and also I need to get bark in my tortoises enclosure. So we do these binders every morning, not every morning, but several days in the week where the students trace over their names and I do these like pocket protector sheets and I slip their names so they can trace their names. So I'm going to do the name tracing activities too. Ooh, hang on. 
and my PowerPoint. <laughs> this list is growing. My PowerPoint. Yeah. Okay. Done. That's it. That's all I got. Okay. So I'm going to get to work. Let's see. I need to print a bunch of stuff. So I basically print like 10 rosters and then I laminate them so that I can have them. I just like set them randomly around the room because I'll put the um, number that the students, so each student's assigned a number and then that number stays with them for the rest of the school year. So um, then I just pull that roster and I'm able to see their, their class number. We use that for everything. And then, so I print my schedules as well. And the reason that I do this, well, I mean, obviously because the schedule changes a little bit every day, um, but then I laminate it. So I think I'll probably print like five, five schedules and then I will laminate and put them around the room. And sometimes these change, which is fine Then I just reprint and relaminate. Um, but the reason that I do this is so that I can have a quick reference anywhere in the classroom. So I'll print those. Um, activities, procedures. Okay, so I gotta work on my procedures. Yep, okay, so that's good. Okay, so this stuff is all done. I'm gonna laminate this. Check, check, check. another laminator off of Amazon because they're like 20 bucks or maybe $25 it's pretty cheap and then um, I bought one that's like extra large because I want to make um, file folder games I don't know if you've ever heard of those but I want to make a whole set or a line of file folder games and I need an extra large laminator to do that like an like almost like a legal size laminator so Let's see if I can put this in here one-handed Okay. All right, guys. I'll check back with you later. Bye. Um, I'm just cutting out rosters and then our token team boards. So the idea behind these is that the students get assigned a color group. So there's purple, green, pink, and blue. So the idea is that each student's assigned a team and then they get tokens to put on their board um, if they complete tasks well. So I use this all the time whenever we're lining up or whenever I'm dismissing so that the entire class doesn't get dismissed um, at the same time. But then there's an incentive for the groups that get dismissed to do it well. So it might be something like um, we're at the carpet and I say something like, all right, it's, it's time to line up to go outside for recess. So when I press the bell, I have like a little lanyard that I have a bell on. When I press the bell, I would like the blue team to get your water bottle and line up on your apple. Um, and then I would say something like, the team that can sh that shows me that they've done it well um, will get a token on their token board. And then we have like a token leader um, that I pick each week. And I just clip the file folder number for that team leader. I don't know if that makes sense. But they basically have like mailboxes and I clip um, their mailbox if they're the team leader for that week. So anyways, I'm just cutting these out. I'll link this down below if you guys are interested. Sometimes you see an idea and it's just like, it just makes sense. I mean, you're more than welcome to make this or use, you know, obviously make this for your own classroom, but I've made it really easy for you and created an entire product that includes all of this stuff. So I'll just link it down below in case you're interested. Um, so I'm printing these out and then I got to Velcro dot them and then put them up. All right guys, so I'm pretty much ready to go. I'm gonna show you what I did. Um, for the first day of school, we do a sticker activity. This is by um, Abby Mullins. I'll try to remember to link this down below, but it's basically just like a little sticker activity that they can sit down and get right to work on. Pretty self-explanatory for that first day. Um, and then 
they don't really need to know a lot other than they're just decorating their t-shirt with stickers. So, um, so that's laid out. And then in addition to that, I've got my first day of school um, procedures printed out. And I will link this down below. This is a freebie, it's editable. So I put all the things that I do obviously, but then you can change it to modify it for your own classroom. Also, <laughs> I have a panel here and on my panel, I put carpet time PowerPoints. And so they're just labeled by week and um, they just kind of have everything on them. So they have the Pledge of Allegiance. I just recorded my voice. I pledge allegiance to the flag. It kind of just walks them through. And then in addition to that, you can embed videos in PowerPoint. So um, I have a lot of songs that um, like support months of the year, days of the week, counting, phonics, that kind of thing. And I just go in every week and I change out the videos to match the skills that I'm teaching for that week. So it is currently 1.45, I've not had lunch yet. I'm gonna take a break, go get some lunch, and then I think that I'm pretty much done. I uploaded a video on the app Class Dojo for parents, just basically letting them know kind of like what to expect. Um, but I'm gonna kind of close the classroom down, and then I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I do still have a little bit of, a little bit, a lot of work um, to organize the curriculum, um, but I think what's gonna happen is I'm gonna probably come in next week Weekend and do that because um, this first week is a lot of procedures and then a lot of times what happens is I end up creating a to-do list of things that come up whatever they may be like I can already tell you there's things that I need to make for the students but I don't have their supplies yet like I, I need their binders to create their binders that we're going to be using and their folders to put the calendars on and things like that so then I'll come in next weekend to um, wrap up some of that and then do some curriculum organization so anyways wish me luck on the first day of school so anyways Thank you guys so much for supporting this channel. If you're not already a subscriber, consider hitting that subscribe button. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.